The Monarchs Junior Drum and Bugle Corps of Pittsfield, Massachusetts, was organized in 1958 by a group of interested parents. It was initially a self supporting, independent group, primarily a parade corps in 1958, 1959, and 1960. The corps entered marching and maneuvering competition for the first time in 1961, starting with fewer than 30 members in 1958. The corps fielded 54 marchers in 1961. One of the highlights of the 61 season was an exhibition at the Mardi Gras of Champions Senior Contest sponsored by the Interstatesman Senior Drum Corps from Pittsfield, Troy, New York. The Corps instructional staff was mostly members of the Interstatesman at the time. The Monarchs capped a successful inaugural marching and maneuvering season with a close second place finish in the Hudson Berkshire Circuit Championships. The 1962 edition of the Monarchs represented post No. 68, American Legion of Pittsfield. They fielded a competing corps consisting of 33 horns and 9 drums under the direction of drum majors Judy Dion and Dick Ward. The corps also featured an outstanding 17-girl color guard commanded by Captains Aline Fauché and Diane Loring. Musical selections included Everything's Coming Up Roses, My Romance, and Somebody Stole My Gal. In 1962 the Corps placed fourth in the Massachusetts American Legion State Championships and the Hudson Berkshire Circuit Championships, and they beat their cross-town rivals Cavaliers and the Holy Trinity Cadets from Boston. The Monarchs continued to grow in 1963 with 36 horns, 12 drums, and 23 in the color guard. A number of open-class shows found them competing against some of the finest corps on the East Coast. The Corps finished third in the Hudson Berkshire Circuit. In 1964, the Corps purchased new cadet style uniforms, contrabass and mellophone horns, and a new equipment truck. They continued to improve with most of the members now boasting four or more years of experience. They finished fourth in the New Hampshire American Legion State Championships. The Monarchs merged with the Pittsfield Skyhawks. In 1965, they purchased a new set of pearl drums and were ready for their best year yet with 39 horns, 12 percussion, and 24 in the the color guard. The Corps moved to the Yankee circuit with mostly New England Drum Corps in 1965. The number and quality of competing corps at this level became evident with the groups trading places every week, St. Rocco's being the corps to beat. The Monarchs was still led by drum major Dick Ward and color guard captain Debbie Heber. The Corps took a third place finish in the Vermont VFW State Championships and a fourth in the Yankee. 1965 was the last full year of competition. The Monarchs disbanded in 1966, as members went off to college and the Vietnam War. A number of the remaining members joined the Pittsfield Cavaliers, making them one of the better units in the East. Some others joined the Interstates men, while a few others helped to make the Boston Crusaders a better contender. All in almost everyone enjoyed their experience with this youthful musical arts sport. Please, stay a while longer as we remember those performers, staff members and friends, whom have passed on over these many long years, also, stay tuned, as we remember, everyone whom has graced the monarchs with their talents and great efforts. There will be more updates and additions as the future unfolds. Thank you for watching, along with every good wish, to you and yours. i yeah.